You've just employed somebody and you need to make sure they know what you want out of them. Watch this video, I'm gonna explain you versus your employee's expectations. What's going on everybody, Spencer Line here. For those that do not know by this point, in 2012 I started my very own online vintage secondhand clothing company called Gully Garms. Sadly last year I had to close it and reopen it under a smaller and different capacity. And I'm also alongside YouTube now, giving you value and insight into what I've learned since 2012 on this business model. And today is something that I hope to have good input for you and it is about you versus your employee's expectations. Now you might not be in a position to have an employee. You might not be in a position that you even want to have an employee. There is going to be some point along the way where you need assistance from somebody, be it a model, be it somebody to help wash your clothes, be it somebody to help prepare, maybe even somebody to help come and collect stock with you. All of those little micro situations, whether it's friends, family, or even people who are helping you out, whether it's with a monetary value, exchanging money for time, or whether they're just doing you a favor, there has to be some underlying understanding of what it is you're expecting from them and what it is that they're actually going to do for that. I will tell you straight off the bat right now that with employing friends that I did in the past, one of the things that slips away from you very quick, the authority to deliver what your intentions are if you haven't cemented them at the start. And really just understanding the person that you're about to employ and understanding what they want from this in order to enable that situation to run smoothly. It is very frustrating employing people at times. However, what I will say guys is that people are people. When you employ a person for a job, you have to make sure that you respect exactly who they are, what they represent and what they're actually doing for you. But we're not gonna forget that if you are paying them, they are doing a job and as a result, you have to expect something back from them. There's a lot of people in this business in recent selling and in buying and selling who have chose to not actually go with employees and keep things at a smaller scope and this might have been at different points and different times. The smaller the scope you keep it whilst it scales up the more work you're essentially going to have to do. If you're in a position where you're happy to hustle then go for it and keep moving in the right direction. But if you're somebody that is at a point when you're like I need somebody to help list my products whether it's somebody online or a friend. I need somebody to come and pick stock with me. I need somebody to come and steam clothes with me. You've got to understand that that experience that you have with paying somebody for a job or asking somebody to help you out is going to come with an expectation from them and also an expectation from you. And I want to use this video to just simplify the ways that you could maybe look at delivering this so that there's no issues and that you are in the right situation with it. And it's just simple really. If you've got an intention with a person that you're about to employ or about to pay to do some segment of a task, you want to make it super clear with what your intentions are from that duty. So two examples, just for example, it could be that you want somebody to list products for you and you turn around and you say, I would just like to pay you to list products. Or you go, right, I'm going to pay you this amount of money but it's a performance based scheme so I do need 20 listings per one hour based on that wage and of course with systems like this you can't expect people to get it straight away you have to have some sort of breathing space and typically with anybody who's starting a new task I give them around about three to five hours maybe even the first 100 products of uploading using that example in order to get an understanding and then from there they're at the 20 per hour in those situations if you're not fast enough for it quick enough I will just get somebody else to do it because that's the whole point of the intentions you have to set out something based based on what you've accumulated and worked out is what you can afford. And as a result, when you start paying that out, you need to make sure that the person who you're about to pay understands what you want from them. Because I'll tell you right now, guys, it can get technical. And I've had my fair share of technical situations. And who knows, maybe one day I will bring one of these employees that I had to come in here and have a discussion. And maybe we'll do it in a podcast form. Because I tell you right now off the bat, it would be a very interesting conversation for me to listen to, but also for you guys to actually enjoy and be immersed in as well, to hear somebody's experience with working with me. Drop a comment if you would find that interesting and maybe I'll make some calls. But seriously guys, you versus the employee is never a you v them. You are working on the same thing together and they should have an understanding of the shared goal you're trying to create. But essentially guys, it's your passion and they're working for you. So you're always going to want whatever they're doing a lot more than they're going to want to even do it. All I'm saying is the intentions you create from the jump to give to this person who's about to deliver you something in return for their time or something in return for the money you're going to pay them has to be met with those intentions. Has to be met with something that you can go, yes, I'm happy with that. That is worth what I've just paid for. If you bought stock from a supplier and he told you it was grade A and you got grade C, you wouldn't be happy with it. You would probably go to him and go, this wasn't what I expected to get from what I paid for. So in that respect, even though services are a little bit different to people, in fact, they're a lot different, the principle underlying still is the same that if you have paid for something and it isn't what you expected, there is some leverage for you to say this wasn't what I paid for. And you can do that with employees, but you just have to be mindful and careful. So look, guys, if you're going to employ somebody, simplify the whole process and go for nine 
niceness. Just go for embracing it in a nice way. Take a friend to a coffee, take that person for a drink, go for a walk. Like do something where you get to know somebody in a very short burst of time that could potentially be doing stuff for you for a long time. And that investment of time to understand that beforehand will just help you firstly understanding whether that person's right for you, but secondly, both having a clear identity of where you stand on your authority of the leverage, but also where they stand on what they expect from this job as well. So guys, feel free to drop a comment with anything you want me to explore and expand on. The YouTube is mini micro thoughts and clips on topics and the Patreon will include expansions of different types of products and topics. But I will say for anybody who is on the Patreon, it is currently in a moment of process with how we are going forward with the types of content. Nonetheless, for the price that it is, £4.50 a month, the value that is over there is substantially different to on YouTube. And that isn't to say that YouTube isn't great. Honestly, guys, I think YouTube has some absolute gems. And I've got about 105 videos because we've done over 100 videos now of every day. So there's lots on YouTube, but the Patreon is just taking it up a little bit of a different direction. For those that are seriously, seriously wanting to look at some other ways to explore scaling their brand, please stay safe. Please stay sustainable. Please keep being original. And we're going this way. We're not going that way. Don't worry if it doesn't go right the first time. Keep going and I'm sure you'll get there. Big up.